Welcome to Fireside Yoga and Morning Mindfulness. I'm Ruby. I'm Riley. I'm Nikki. And this is Luna. She's doing a restorative yoga right now. We are here today to do some morning yoga and maybe talk about some themes because yoga is really about uh, emotions and feelings and being who you are and uh, mindfulness. It's also about doing physical activity like poses and really getting into your body. So today we have a set of cards and Ruby Sue is going to pick a card. These are from the Children's Spirit Animal Deck. Ruby, can you grab the cards? Okay. Remy, would you like to pick one instead? Sure. Unicorn. Ooh, that's a fun card to pick. Use what does it say on there? Use your imagination. Use your imagination. Can you think of a way that using your imagination right now would help if you were stuck inside your house? To have fun and be creative. To have fun and be creative and use your imagination for creativity. Good job. Okay, I'm going to look up unicorn. Here we are. Unicorn. Use your imagination. Unicorn says... Many people believe in my existence, yet these days, very few have actually seen me. Whether or not someone has seen me or even believes in me doesn't matter. I know I'm real. I'm not walking around on the earth anymore as I once did since I decided a while ago that I'd only be available to someone who is using their imagination. That's where I mainly live these days in people's imaginations doing with other mythical beings like dragons and the phoenix. Funny thing is, in its own way, imagination is just as real as the world you see around you. It's just a different kind of reality. Everything that humans have actually started with a thought or a picture in someone's mind, with what someone first imagined. So no matter how you do so, it's time to now express your imagination, your, your imaginative side in some way, whether through drawing, painting, writing, sculpting, or any other art form and having fun doing it. So yoga is actually an art form, and I think we can use our imagination here. Uh, let's try an activity. Let's close our eyes. Can you sit up tall? This is gonna be a little meditation, unicorn meditation for a moment. Please see if you can connect to the earth with your breath, Feeling on the exhale, the heaviness in your uh, bottom toward the floor, connecting you to the earth. And as you inhale and the breath lifts you up, use your imagination to see a unicorn floating in the sky. And then as you exhale, you can feel the earth below you and feel reality, feel your roots, your home. And as you inhale, Feel like you're rising up into the clouds, into a place that's sunny, beautiful. And as you exhale down, green, sunny, beautiful. All that space in between. Think about a time when you were running through green grass. Everything was light. There were colorful flowers around you. That is our world. When you go outside today, maybe you can notice all the sounds of the birds because spring is coming. We've been hearing that in our, near our home. Keep breathing in to all the beauty and freedom that you have and just recognizing and having gratitude for all that. And use your imagination. If you want to go to the beach, you can go to the beach. If you want to ride the unicorn in the sky, you can do that. Anything you want. Use your imagination. See if you can visualize that and go there. And how does it make you feel? How does it make you feel when you are in your favorite place, a magic tree house in the sky filled with books? When you're in that place, how does it make you feel? Does it make you feel calm? Does it make you feel happy? Notice those feelings inside your body. Don't just think about it in your mind. Notice how it feels, how happy and calm and joyful, and with gratitude for all the lovely things that you can do. Just feel that in your body.
Take a couple more breaths. Feeling your favorite place, wherever that is for you. And it's different for everyone. Everyone's happy place. So different. And then open your eyes. Good job. Okay. Luna's still with us. Oh, I guess she's going on a walk. Bye, Luna. You probably have some pets at home, too, that could be even doing the yoga with you. Oh, are we looking at the altar? We've created the altar in Fireside Yoga uh, just to kind of have some things with us while we practice that remind us of um, the teachings. So first of all, we have a candle, which just our candle is always burning bright, right in our hearts. The flame always bright. Some flowers, some beauty to remind us of the uh, world and nature and spring. Oh, and then this is Ganesh. Ganesh is the remover of obstacles. So Ganesh, the elephant-headed uh, mythological creature, is represents kind of like when some kind of obstacle comes in our direction, how we use that obstacle for an opportunity. So what could be an obstacle, Remy? Um, water bottle. That's an obstacle? Like if you were trying to practice and the water bottle was in the way? We could remove it. Oh, but it's an opportunity to hydrate. Good job, Ruby. Also, I think an obstacle for everyone right now is the pandemic mm. and not being able to go to school. But the opportunity we can have out of that is we get to kind of stay at home and Maybe we get to be with our family. Yeah, so just being together and appreciating families. That's true. And stay safe and staying safe, so being safe. And it's an opportunity to actually feel good in our health because we can do things like yoga. Awesome job. What if we say this mantra today? Our mantra for the day can be, I can make this obstacle an opportunity. 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 So chanting that mantra maybe throughout the day and reminding yourself that all the obstacles we have do become opportunities for learning and expanding and growing. And I think that could be true of the earth too. Maybe if we lay off a few days of emissions and planes in the sky and trains and buses, maybe the Mother Earth will thank us and somehow show us some really blue, clear skies to remind us of how healthy she can be if we pay attention. Okay, what do we have next? Moonstone. So these moonstones are just energetic in that uh, they wake us up to our magical side where imagination can be uh, super helpful in uplifting our spirits. And also moon in astrology represents the mother. And the mother is caring and nurturing and loving and compassionate, just like the mother earth is. So it reminds us to be that way to ourselves and to others. And then we have the Russian dolls. And Russian dolls, you know, the little doll looks the same as the big doll. It reminds me of how you are on the outside, who you are on the outside is the same or in life we're trying to match that person on the inside. So sometimes we kind of wear a mask, like, you know, we're not who we are because we want to be like we think other people think we should be. But really in life, coming into the true self and being who you really are and being, feeling free to be who you are is what we're trying to do in life is to become... The person on the inside can be the person on the outside. Be who you truly are, not what you think you should be for others. Okay? Let's do some asana. Are you ready to do some postures? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Can you take those cards and just put them a little bit aside so Remy has some space on his mat? Now, if you don't have a mat at home, it doesn't matter at all. You can do this on the floor. In fact, I'll do it on the floor just to show you that. Thank you. All right, so Remy and Ruby are gonna to come to hands and knees. 
But I'm going to do this too on the floor. See if you can bring your hands just underneath your shoulders. And take your hips over your knees. Look forward, lift up your head, and then round your spine and look towards your knees. And do that again. Come into the position where you lift your head, lift your booties. This is the cow. And then come into the position of the cat, which is the rounded spine, a scary cat of Halloween. Try that again. Good. This is the cow. Can you do a cow noise? It's kind of fun. Ooh. It's like a mantra. And then round your spine. A mantra is just kind of the thing that you say that you would like to feel and believe. So what's our mantra today? Do you remember? Um, I can make an obstacle into an opportunity. Yes, I can make an obstacle into an opportunity. Yes, move. <laughs> Exhale, round your spine. <laughs> the scary cat. What would be the sound of the scary cat? I don't even know. Meow. Meow. But what, how would you make it scary? <laughs> Excellent. What if we turned the cat into a dog? Do you know how to turn the cat into a dog? <laughs> Pick your knees <laughs> off the mat. Downward facing dog pose. What I can make this obstacle an opportunity. I Good job, Ren. Keep on your dog pose. Take a couple more breaths. Let's remember this card. What was the card? Unicorn. Unicorn. Use your imagination to believe. I believe that we are going to have a better, more beautiful world after this hardship. Bring your feet to your hands, front of your space. Lift your head up. Fold forward over your legs. Separate your feet, grab your elbows. Hang, and this is called ragdoll. And what does a ragdoll represent? A ragdoll is like a special doll. Keep on going, you guys forward fold, I'm just talking. A ragdoll is like a special doll that you carry around everywhere because it makes you feel comfort. It's like the moon, remember? So we have the moonstone in our altar. The mother makes you feel comfortable or just, you know, whoever kind of takes care of you. Maybe yourself. Sometimes we have to just rely on ourselves to nurture ourselves. Okay, come all the way up. Lift your arms up. Take your left wrist in your right hand. Press to your feet and lean to the side of your space. Good. Open up to the side. This is called half moon pose again. So where is it that you find peacefulness? Some people it's like their bed when they sleep. Some people it's kind of on the yoga mat in school. You can visualize that as you bring your elbows down. Maybe it's the beach. Something. It's a. It's a. Music, what is it in your imagination can go there? Lift your arms up, forward fold. Lift your head up, can you step to a plank position? This one's hard, but in plank, you gotta bring your hips up a little bit more, Remy. Good, just like that, perfect, like that, yes. Maybe walk your hands back a little bit, Remy, yeah. Without walking your feet back. Good, bring your chest forward. That's it. Okay, now bring your knees down. Knees, chest, and chin. Inchworm. Inchworm. And then come on down. Do you guys come up onto, this is the Sphinx pose. So, do you guys remember when we were taking our ski the other day and we saw an earthworm? We saw earthworm in the snow. And it reminded us that there's life and spring is coming and it's just, it was really lovely. It made us really happy, earthworm. But there was newness, being a newbie, right? Yeah, I feel like there's gonna be some wonderful, beautiful things that blossom in spring. Newness, open your shoulders, lift your chin. And then child's pose. So the knees are apart in child's pose, the feet together. Bring your forehead down and your hands back. Melt into your legs. 
Take several deep breaths here. Let's see if we can use our imagination again and draw your attention to your favorite animal. Favorite animal. And when you think about that animal, what is it? What's the quality of the animal that you love? What is that quality? And then you can think about why. What is it about you that makes you love this animal, that quality, and if that quality is even in you? Maybe because the animal is joyful and happy, and so are you. Maybe the animal is fierce and protective. Maybe that too. Okay, bring your hands forward. Lots of unicorn imagination today for Fireside Yoga. Come on up. Downward facing dog. Take lots of deep breaths here. See if you can engage your muscles, use your muscles. Bring your right foot forward and identify your right leg. Bring your left knee down, the other knee down, good. Bring your foot forward a little more around me. Yep, and let's see if you can come up. Ooh, and we can stretch through our hips. I know, right? Yes, you centered your foot, Ruby. That was the way you balanced. Good. Thinking about balance, yeah? See, and you're learning. So that obstacle of not being able to balance gives you an opportunity to learn and grow. Lift your arms up. What's the mantra? I can use this obstacle as an opportunity. Okay, take your hands down. Plank. Remember plank? Good. How about inchworm? Knees, chest, chin. How about cobra? This time, not space. Cobra, shoulders back. Good. Chin up. Child's pose. Mm, go back to your animal. Notice another quality, a second quality in the animal. Where does it choose to live? Where does it find its home? Where does it feel its freedom? And then come up to all fours. Tuck your toes, downward dog. Oof, dog, man's best friend. This pose is like a home away from home. Such a good pose. Bring your left foot forward. Bring your right knee down. Jump. Lift your arms up. Okay, on this one, we're going to bend the elbows to a U shape, and I want you to think who are you? In the center of your heart, that you know. Only you know you. You know you better than anyone. Now, does the person outside match the person inside? The person that you are to everyone else, does it match who you are inside? Lift up. And take your hands down. Bring your back knee up. Plank. Inch square. Knees, chest, and chin. Knees, chest. Cobra. Child's pose. Beautiful. Take a few breaths there. Do either one of you want to share which animal you chose? Um. Well, I don't really have a favorite animal because I love all the animals, but one of my favorite animals is a dolphin because um, they're joyful and happy and they're kind of playful. They're also pretty smart and um, they can also be protective and fierce, kind of like me. Yes, I love that. And then the water, the place they like to be, the second question. Yeah, you like to be in the water, Risa. What about you, Rami? What animal did you pick? Dolphin. You picked a dolphin also? Wow, and what were your reasons? What's the quality of a dolphin that, that you love? Uh... Good swimmer? Mm. They're good swimmers. Let's do some floor poses. 
stick your legs out. Reach your arms up. And forward fold. So you can hold your shins or the outsides of your legs. What's up, Ruby? While we're doing this, would you tell us what you did for your animal? My favorite animal is Lady and, and Sunny. <laughs> Golden Retriever! And the dogs. Because they are so reliable and, and unconditional love. And protective. Oh, beautiful. Sunny and Luna. Okay. Now we'll come into this position, which is the butterfly. Butterfly. Remy, can you talk about a butterfly? Um anything? A butterfly like represents lots of freedom. Ruby, what do you think? Um, the butterfly kind of represents freedom and a little bit of change because kind of the butterfly like starts out as a caterpillar and then it kind of goes into this cocoon and there it changes into its 